Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector. But today's video is actually a vlog. Everyone really enjoyed my Christmas vlog, which if you missed that, I will leave a card up above. So I did say that I would do a New Year's Eve, New Year's Day one. So New Year's is going to be different this year. Last night we were told that Dudley is going into Tier 4, which means that all the stores shut again which obviously means that I'm back to being inside all the time. So I had already planned to do this vlog and I don't think I was planning to go out anywhere today. But even so, I'm going to try my best to make this more interesting than my Christmas one. I would love to do weekly vlogs on this channel, but I just know that they would be boring because especially since I'm working at home, it would be five days of me sat at a computer and then the other two days of me just being sat in the house doing jigsaws and things because the shops are closed. Luckily I had gone shopping yesterday, so I did get what I was after, but I just feel really sorry for the shop workers that are now furloughed again because it's just not fair on them. So obviously because of that I can't see Joe. I saw Joe on Christmas Day because there was a relaxing of restrictions for Christmas Day. There isn't one for New Year's Eve into New Year's Day so I'm just on my own. But I thought I would take you along with me anyway so you can see what I'm doing. Today is going to be a normal day. I've got laundry to do. I've got to have a shower and wash my hair. I'd like to go into the new year with clean hair. But right now it is coming up to 8 o'clock and there is a Disney key going live on Shop Disney UK so I'm gonna try and get that first and then have my breakfast and have my shower so fingers crossed I managed to get that key I'm so incredibly proud of you for um, surviving. Right, I'm about to go in the shower, so I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use Dream Length Shampoo because I've just had my hair cut and I want to keep my ends on split. Then I'm going to use the Snow Fairy Shampoo Bar from Lush because you're supposed to like shampoo your hair twice because the first one gets out the dirt and the second one cleans it and then I never ever use conditioner but today I'm going to use the Dream Lens conditioner because I've just had my hair cut so let's get in the shower Now it's half past 11 and I've got a premiere today of my new channel trailer that includes my new intro from Jolly Holiday with Mary. Her YouTube channel is linked in my description. So what I've got to do is manually change my banner and my profile picture on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook so that it all matches ready for 12 o'clock. Thank you. 
I'm calling this the lost afternoon. I've basically just lay in bed. I gradually started getting a migraine, like as soon as I got up. I actually vividly remember going to bed with it as well. I have this like magnet headband that's got magnets all along the forehead and I wore that to bed last night. It's supposed to move the like blood from your head to get rid of a headache or a migraine. I don't know whether it works. <laughs> The, even if it's just a placebo effect, it helps me sleep. So, I haven't worn it today because I've just been trying to stay hydrated. I've taken some heavy painkillers, but I don't feel any better. But I've really got to get a move on with what I need to do. Got loads of laundry to put away, and I haven't fully finished like tidying up yet. It's just really unfortunate that the day I need to stay up till midnight is the day that I'm really ill and want to go to bed at like seven. But I'll try my best. I would like to stay up till midnight because I'm really interested in what London is doing because London always has this like big fireworks display and I don't know whether they'll have it because thousands of people congregate for it and obviously people can't congregate for things so I don't know whether they'll even have that this year. So I'm just interested to see what they're doing. I had some purchases arrive today, so I suppose I should show those to you. Two were from the Shop Disney January sale. It was the second order I put in this week because I put in an order on Christmas Day for a Donald Duck outfit for my friend's baby. She's due in April. And then like the next day I decided to buy myself some things from the sale using some Christmas money. So I got the Alien Remix Merida, which I still need to do a like haul video for you guys of what I bought from this whole collection. And then I finally got the 90th anniversary Pluto. I kept saying I didn't want it or that I at least wasn't willing to spend that much on it. And then it was in the sale and I was like, oh, I really want it. And now it's arrived. I'm so glad I didn't miss out on it. And the final thing that arrived was an eBay purchase. And it's my Grail Squishmallow. So this is Avery the Mallard Duck. And I know Joe's going to love it because Joe loves ducks. I just think he's absolutely adorable. So now I've dragged myself out of bed. Even if it's only for about 10 minutes. I need to quickly put my laundry away. And then yes, I might be able to reward myself with some more time in bed. I did it the wrong way around. I went back to bed and then once it got dark I decided to put my laundry away. are doing a video it's a tag that we were tagged in we were yeah we tagged us. lizzie from lizzie and disney tagged us So it's coming up to quarter to 11 and I'm going to go to bed. I was reading just now and I got so tired as you saw and I tried to have a nap but I'm on the sofa so I'm just going to like close the curtains, get into bed, go to sleep. My migraine is so bad and I just know that if I don't sleep well I won't get rid of it. So I'm going to go to bed now. I'll probably wake up naturally about 8 or 9. I just need to remember to turn my alarm off on my watch. And my mum's off tomorrow, so we can have some fun tomorrow. Play some games. I think we're having a buffet for lunch because I really like buffets. I eat better when it's a buffet. I don't think there's any post tomorrow. And I was expecting something really exciting that I wanted to show you. But I don't think there's post. And the vlog will end sometime tomorrow evening so but you will see it in a future video you'll see it in my what i got for christmas video so you will get to see it i just wanted to give you a sneak peek of that video but that doesn't matter it's quarter to 11 i'm officially giving up there was this cool walt disney world firework display that was going to be on facebook live at midnight but 
I don't like fireworks anyway. There's loads of fireworks going off outside, and I want to be asleep before like all of the fireworks start. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy New Year's! Good morning guys, Happy New Year. I did manage to fall asleep before the fireworks started, so I didn't get to ring in the New Year by wishing everybody Happy New Year at midnight. I did wake up to a text from Joe, who waited until midnight to wish me Happy New Year, which was really sweet. It's the first year since we've been together that we haven't been together for New Year's, so that was really sad, and I'm actually quite glad I slept through it, because it would have been really upsetting to not like be together at midnight. I've just had my breakfast and watched Death to 2020 on Netflix, which was really, really funny. Hugh Grant was especially great in it. And then I've just filmed a video as well. It's not going up until the 22nd, but I just thought while I had time, I would do it. I've got to wake up early tomorrow to film my Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction rankings because that's going to be a very long video. So I don't want to like rush it now. But it's just gone 11 o'clock. I've still got some Christmas stuff to put away, which I won't show you guys because it's going in a video for the 15th. But I'll probably put on some Gilmore Girls on Netflix while I do that. Still got a few more YouTube videos to catch up on. And then I'll probably just hang out with my mum. I hope everyone is having a good new year so far. I will catch up with you a little bit later because I'm waiting for Shop Disney to give us more details on this Stitch collection. <laughs> I went from one pair of pyjamas to another pair of pyjamas. So my bath lasted about two hours. I read quite a lot of my book. I said today I want to get to about page 100 and I'm on page 70 at the minute. So I might get there, I might not, but I've made good progress anyway. My Goodreads is in my description if you'd like to follow me or friend me. I'll be updating my progress and obviously I've set my challenge to 50 books this year. I thought in this vlog that I would be able to show you guys the announcement of Stitch Crashes Disney, but it's just gone five o'clock and we still have nothing. My new video has just gone up though, so if you didn't see that, I will leave a card up above. I just need to go and promote it on my Instagram now, which I won't show you guys because it's just a bunch of screenshots and links and everything. I'm hoping to play Monopoly tonight and hopefully before we end this vlog, Shop Disney have announced something, but it's not looking likely. In kick off 2021, I am going to do a YouTuber tag, which is actually a 2020 tag, but I would do this YouTuber tag that was created by my good friend Lizzie from Lizzie in Disney. I will leave her links down below. I've just checked again and they've announced the Nuimos. Nuimos? I can't say it. 
but it's the poseable plushes from Japan. I have regretted not getting one from Japan, so I will definitely be getting one when Shop Disney UK gets them. If you would like a plush review of those plushes, then I will definitely do that. But as you guys know from today's video, my January schedule is booked solid. I'm actually putting this video that I'm doing right now up as an additional video which I said I wouldn't do but I think vlogs are okay like these are my own rules I said I'd just upload twice a week I wouldn't get into the habit of always doing three days a week so I think it's okay I can do it I'm not back at work until Monday so I've got plenty of time to edit this but yeah still nothing on Stitch Crashes Disney which is really annoying because I really wanted to like show you guys what it was gonna be but right now we don't know so this set was gifted by Shop Disney UK. So I lost Monopoly, I went bankrupt and my mom had 15,000 in the bank and my dad didn't play because there was a football match on. I'm sure that if my dad played I wouldn't have lost, I would have come second. But it's coming up to 8 o'clock and we still haven't had anything from Disney about Stitch Crashes Disney. I posted on my Instagram story that they'd posted about new emos but not about Stitch Crashes Disney and a lot of people messaged me and said that's what I'm waiting for as well. And I personally don't think that Disney will post two announcements so close together. If you ask me they should have waited until Monday for the new emos and done Stitch crashes Disney today because I believe the post that they originally posted said that they were going to announce something in the new year which to most people would mean New Year's Day. I mean I'm gonna be really annoyed if they do it tomorrow and I've edited this video already. If I haven't already edited the video and they say something then I'll pop it in but who knows what they're gonna do. I really thought it was gonna be today. My friend did send me a screenshot of someone on Facebook saying that the first month is going to be Beauty and the Beast but that was not said by Disney themselves so I would rather see it announced by Disney and I would still want to see it before I decided whether I was getting it because Beauty and the Beast is one of my favourite films but it doesn't mean that I'd want to buy the merchandise. I do still need to see it. I'm just a little disappointed that we haven't had any information yet because with Minnie Mouse the main attraction I'm pretty sure it turned midnight and we already knew. We also knew all 12 months ahead of time. We had already seen the sneak peek for January and we might have seen February's as well but we'd seen it at midnight so I don't know what's taking so long. I've actually got post notifications on so that it would come up on like my watch if they posted and they haven't and I'm gutted but I've decided I'm going to leave this vlog here because it's eight o'clock I want to wind down for bed and I've got to get up early tomorrow to film my ranking of the Minnie Mouse the main attraction plushes so that's going to be fun. Thank you so much for watching this New Year's vlog. I would honestly love to bring you guys weekly vlogs but as you can see I don't do a lot. We're in tier 4 now which means that the stores are closed, you can't meet other households apart from outdoors obviously the weather's bad so that's not going to happen so it would just be a lot of me sat at my computer at work and then in the evening like watching Gilmore Girls or The Office or Disney Plus and it would just be that for five days and then I might go to Tesco on the weekends like it wouldn't be very interesting for you guys but I really hope you enjoyed this new year's vlog and I hope you've had a great start to the new year please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below letting me know how your new year's was and I will be back on Tuesday for my Wishables collection video, the first one in the series, so join me then. Bye guys!